All right, this is going to be a no BS optimal base design. When building your base, if you can have it compact like this, let's say the arc was in the middle, this is going to offer the most protection and highest damage output. Protection of the fence with small gates delays any kind of damage to the fence or the gates because as bugs come up to attack, they'll get stunned by the fence. Turrets, man, uh, MGs will be able to clear out any bugs that are then stuck or stunned. If a bug comes up here, again, the turret is going to be able to have sight lines on bugs here and being able to clear out in the front. Turrets on all four corners, you can see on both sides, that turret is going to have clear sight lines down this lane and down this lane, depending on where the horde is coming from. Every single section as well, if this gate gets pushed through, let's say a uh, grenadier hits it with a bomb and it destroys it, you still have staggered defense here. It's good to stagger them instead of putting them up to each other. Um, in case there's some, a bug in the middle that's hitting both with the AoE hit. You can even go a third one back here as well if you'd like. Uh, I know that sometimes the gates will be on the edge, so you won't be able to have this wall in front. So staggering behind as well is going to help out. This is going to allow you to then delay them even further, the bugs, from getting into your base. Having a way out and up quickly instead of having to vault is also good. So having these towers here to go up instantly like that is really nice inside of here in the base. Uh, these having them at an angle like this allows you to get up and out even though the arc is right there without having to open up the doors. Every section of this base is just repeated so it's like a one fourth of a corner is the same on all four corners. These turrets are going to have sight lines down helping each other out. Uh, these are going to help protect against this tower. Another strategy that you can have is having a bastion at each of the corners here, deploying their ability. And as you can see, you can still reach the, the outer turret from here. And having this wall here, with these walls here, and the bastion here, just focusing on repairs, is going to be able to repair this turret, keep it safe with its ability. You can crouch for extra safety. This turret operator here is still going to be able to shoot over your bastion wall and clear out the sides while you're able to constantly keep them up. One thing that I like to do is have ammo right outside of each of the bunkers. If somebody happened to be inside of a bunker and shooting out, which this is one of the safest positions that you can be in. You're not going to be hit by gunners. You're not going to be hit by grenadiers. Uh, the only thing that can potentially hit you would be a bug directly upon the wall. However, from here, you can also help heal the turrets or any of the electric fences next to it. Now, one thing is that you're not always going to be able to have a tight, compact base like this. Sometimes it is going to be more beneficial to spread out the base. So just remember to focus on putting the electric fences at where the entrances are. So as the bugs come up, they are initially stunned. Um, make sure the fences are connected to something that's strong and durable, like a bunker. One issue that you can have is people putting up a unmanned turret next to or near a gate. Uh, if this was a turret, you see how this gate is fat right here instead of skinny? It's going to block the line of sight of this manned or unmanned turret. The side of the, the gate is a little bit too thick. It's So I would recommend having a normal wall or uh, let's see, do I have a, I do. So if I build up this gate for reference, imagine this gate was there and it was, let's say you had something along the side over here. That turret no longer has a sight line on this side to shoot down there. And it barely has a sight line on this other side, but it's blocked by that. Do not place turrets next to or inside of gates. The gates block that line of sight. The main thing to focus on for the build 
is having clear open lines of sight and a very fortified and efficient base. You want, again, you want the electric fence at the entrance of where enemies are coming in. Bunkers next by, next to it. A bunker has a lot of HP, so you can easily repair this electric fence uh, from the safety of a strong, high HP structure like a bunker. If you're unable to put a bunker next to the fence, then a wall is fine. You can still get to it pretty decently. Besides that, I'm going to do one more walkthrough just so you can see the design if you'd like to copy it. Um, you can see that this is on like that specific quadrant so that way it's just beyond the sightline of this wall to shoot bugs coming along the edge. It's like a 3x3 three three with things along the outside perimeter. Uh, just try to get as close as you can to this kind of design and the bugs will never get in. You can have a group of randoms that could survive any kind of waves. Again, it's the same on all four sides. There you go. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, this is the current patch uh, 0 0.3.0 base design, the most optimal design that I could think of. If you have any tips or tricks or anything that I missed, please let me know. Thank you for watching.